Now that we know how to retrieve data from the database, in this video we'll now look at how to write data to the database as well. The scenario is this. We select the option menu entry, add log entry in the star log activity. And that leads us to the log edit activity. Here there's a text view for the timestamp, aka star date, and an edit text for the log message text. When I'm done, I click confirm. And that will lead us to the method on confirm button click, which I have prepared for you in the log edit Java class. There it is. Here we're supposed to do something to save the log entry. And that, of course, will be the responsibility of the star log DB manager class. So in our first step, we need a method to create a log entry. It will be called create log entry. And of course, it will need to accept parameters. For one, the text to save, the string. And the timestamp. That would be of type long. The end of the function, we'll have to call the insert method of the database. And we pass table name as the first parameter, null as the second, and some values of the third parameter. This method, by the way, will return a value of long, and that will be the ID of this data set in the table. So I'll return this. So anytime I call create log entry, I can check whether the operation was successful. If so, it will return a value that's larger than zero. And now to the values. Let's have a look at the signature of this method. And there you see the expected type is content values. So we create a variable values of type content values. By the way, you can import the class by placing the curse at the end and hitting control space. So this will be a new set of content values. And now I'll stuff the text and timestamp given into these content values. Values, put, the first one is a string. The key of this field I have defined in the constant log text. And the value is text. The same for the timestamp. That's of type long. And the key is timestamp. And the value is timestamp. So now retrieve the text in the timestamp, create a values object, stuff my data into it, and submit it to the database via the insert method of my database instance. In the log edit class, when the confirm button is clicked, I call a method yet to be defined called save log entry. I'll set the result type of this activity to result OK and finish my activity. Calling finish in the activity will close and break down the activity and return the last activity in the view stack. So let's implement the function save log entry. Hover over the squiggly line, click on create method. There it is. And in this function, save log entry, I want to retrieve the text from the edit text and the timestamp value from the text view for the timestamp. I create these as members of this class. Create field, hover over my m timestamp text view, create field. And of course, this will also need an instance of our database manager. I create as well. Then I'll have to set up these three in the onCreate method. This will be an edit text. The timestamp will be a text view. The MDB manager will be an instance of star log DB manager. In the onCreate method, I'll retrieve my edit text via the function find view by id, r.id.ed star log text. This will be an edit text, so I have to cast it. 
time stamp text view has the ID of r dot id dot txt timestamp. We cast to text view. And finally, on DB Manager, dialog DB Manager. Context is this. And finally, I'll open the DB Manager. So within the save log entry method, I'll retrieve my text field, get the text from it, transform it into a string. And if there was in fact text entered, I retrieve the timestamp value. In this case, I've used the class long instead of the scalar type long, because this can also be null. So I'll try to pass the string from this text field to a valid long value and pass this to the create log entry method. And because I'll finish this activity after clicking on confirm, I'll also have to get back to my star log class and override a method that handles the result. Hit control three or command three on Mac, select override implement methods, look for activity and select on activity result. Click OK. OK, put this down there. Usually want this at the end. Let's put it here. And here I simply call update list. And this will again retrieve the data set and update the list. OK, let's have a look at luck at it again. Ah, OK, we still have a problem. Because right now, this text view doesn't contain any text. That would result in timestamp being null, but we're not allowed to write null to the database. So I'll fill this text field via the method set text with the current time release of the system. That should look pretty much like a start date. Okay, now we're done. Let's give it a try. Star log, option menu, add log entry. There's the star date, ABC, confirm, and there's my star log. Cool, now you know how to write data into the database.